All right, here's our next project. Um, could be a trivet for the kitchen table. Here's a simple trivet out of poplar wood. Here's another trivet where I CNC'd on both sides. This is a half inch ball line mill um, with a depth that kind of exceeds half the thickness of the wood. This is a quarter inch flat end mill. So you could either do a trivet, or the other option is a little wine glass tray like this. Before I designed and ran this one, I, I did a prototype first in MDF. So I here's my first one. Um, it, it was a little too big to hold the glass and it didn't look quite the way I wanted it. So I redesigned it like this. So there's a holding spot here that holds your glass and your appetizers. These are our appetizers right here. So this is a little wine tray. You could design it like mine, or you could design your own. So you could either do the trivet or the wine tray. And the math problem I'd like you to do is figure out the runtime on your tray. And here are the numbers you need to know to figure out that runtime. This is maple. We're going to run this maple at 60 inches per minute. And we're going to use a quarter inch flat end mill, and this wood is 13 sixteenths thick. And each step that that bit goes down can only be a quarter inch. So the quarter inch is a step down. So if I go one quarter down, two quarters, three quarters, it's actually going to be four passes all the way around to find the perimeter. So I have to find the perimeter of this object. It's going to step down, it's going to take four times to cut it out. And then I also have to calculate the runtime for that pocket. So I actually have to calculate the area of this pocket. And the way this runs, it, it runs a zigzag pattern like this. When you calculate that, I actually assume there's zero step over. So every pass takes out a quarter of an inch. So every pass down takes out a quarter of an inch. You gotta find the area of that whole pocket. Um, and it's only a quarter inch deep, so it'll do it in one pass. Okay, so you wanna figure out that runtime. It's both a ray problem, a perimeter problem, and an area problem.